So, here we are again, <clears throat> and this time it is for the third song from this Mustang Kun Lapset album, Valo, and the song this time is called Icaros, which is in English Icaros, so basically just the K changes to C, and it is the uh, character from ancient Greek mythologies don't remember exactly how it was but it was the boy who wanted to fly and had its own uh, made, made made wings of, of his own and, and tried to fly and failed miserably now I don't see how how that title exactly uh, fits the lyrics itself, it kind of doesn't explain itself or anything, but let's get into it anyway. Uh, all in all, the whole song once again kind of deals with death, of your own death and your beloved one, I guess. Uh, the first sentence means you come with me to the end. Uh, actually, this word saw that. That word over there is. Um, it is basically going with someone. It usually is used in more like romantic scenery where you go with someone. Uh, you've probably met in a restaurant or something, and then you go with this this person to his or her home, or at at least a home door or something. That's where it is usually you know, usually you know used, but uh, you know in in this case it is not that romantic. I guess it is just something to go with someone. Anyway, and then the next one, a downhill that is suddenly getting more steep, you know, it is getting steeper. Uh, so basically, he is singing that, well, I assume she, it could be anything else, but you know, let's assume it is she. He is singing about that, that she is coming with him to the end do the downhill that is suddenly getting more steep and that she is about that she should tell the news to the others very carefully the news about how the time had passed about the uh, had passed the narrator here and um actually this this word right here it it refers to word ohita, which is also overtaking. I I put it here to be passing, you know, but but, but it could be overtaking. It, it is uh, that to me overtaking is more like a sports term, but it kind of fits here too as well. So time overtakes him. Metaphorically. Uh, then we continue with the preachers. <sighs> when sorrow gets new grey morning, so there is sorrow, it gets morning that is grey and new. <laughs> I, I guess sorrow in here is the sort of transcendence entity somewhere, you know, that. Everything that is sorrowful, every, everybody who feels some sort of sorrow is part of this entity. Anyway, sorrow gets new grey morning. You will find silence around you. That is pretty straightforward. Then in the chorus, it just repeats this same sentence four times. You will eventually be alone. Now, well, this word here... Lopulta 
it's it's more like finally but i think eventually here fits a bit better you know but but finally would have been pretty good translation as well and this well first of all yad means ices you know yeah ice you know that frozen water not those things that you see with uh, so this would be ices as well but in, in this case it is that you will be left to be alone or it could be staying alone or something like that but i think overall the main point is that someone is alone so i i thought that this could be a good translation that you will eventually be alone, be alone right then here the second verse i carry you to the end that is straightforward when our way or road comes to the night here are two quite tricky ones die uh, right here means a way or a road could be motorway more specifically I don't know maybe something else a path or something so our way is going going forwards to the night but you know I'm not sure it could be way it could be road here basically now it in a data is the basic form it is it is kind of like going forwards you know going somewhere to somewhere from a to b point a to point b but here it is just coming or it could be going so when our way goes to tonight and and here's also a tricky one ilta means it, it more literally it means evening but in in this case and in this context it, it it's more like night it's it is not that technical and, and a specific term in this case it is not that you you know if you feel like that night starts when it's 9 p.m. Uh, uh, or, or something and it's still evening from 6 to 9 p.m. or something like that this is not technical term here uh, this is more like you know characteristic or, or, or attribute so I think noise is is better translation here meanwhile evening would be uh, more literal so yeah when our way or road comes to the night goes to the night or turns to the night in this case uh, then the narrator will carefully tell the news the news is that the time has overtaken you so they kind of switch the roles between the verse 2 and verse 1 here but basically pretty much same same things they are doing there just roles are reversed preachers 2 well once again there is sorrow who is getting a new gray morning but as she found silence around her this narrator here as they have sort of reversed the roles is finding bitter around him, around him okay and eventually he will be alone right and I think that is that yes that is that all of this is is already translated so yeah that's how it goes I hope you liked it. If you did, please like and, and subscribe. I will do more of these. I will take requests and, and so on. And uh, see you in the next video. Goodbye.